Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number 17 of the season here at Sebring. We are getting closer to that chase for the championship. We saw a crazy race going in the Xfinity Series. Don't be sorry if we see the same almost in the Cup Series. On the pole for this one, Nathan Hudson in car number 8. The Brit having a little bit of a struggling year in his return. He'll be alongside Cole Deaver in the 9. Our points leader for this event. 3rd is Sam and Oskin. 4th, Zach Flickinger. 5th, Dylan Poteet. 6th, Zach Rogers. 7th, Ember Ross. 8th, Jesse Turner. 9th, Jeffrey Fingai. Completed top 10, Angel Navarro. That's your starting lineup from 11 and 12 on back. Should be a real interesting one to see what will happen all together. We'll talk about the points in just a minute. You're looking through on the lineup and on the final row we have Dylan Throw and Alex Drayton. So here are the points coming into this one. Cole Deaver, as mentioned before, he's got a point lead. The gap is sh shrunken a little bit there. Trent Dunham, Clint Spillman, they are literally a ra almost a race length behind compared to a little before then. Keith Batson has jumped up to fourth in points. Cody Lama is still hanging in the top five. Zach Flickinger, Quentin Moore swap spots in sixth and seventh. Then you got Zach Rogers, RJ Bishop, and Dylan Pote completing the top ten. Give credit to RJ. He's finally gotten the rebound for sure. And keep in mind, Bishop and Pote, they are tied for ninth in the points. Wildcard holders that are currently right now are Kyle Matthews in the 0-9. He's got wildcard slot number one. And Scott Roush in the 60. He's got wildcard slot number two. Keep an eye on Brian James in car number 94. As well as Jessica Shelton and Jeffrey Finguy. They also have wins. They're trying to get in a better position as well. We're about ready to get the command to fire the engines here at Sebring. Let's go down track to get those famous words in motorsports. And there's the command. I'll tell you what, like I mentioned before, we had some crazy, crazy racing going alongside in that Xfinity race altogether. All 42. Oh, never mind. Not all 42 cars. Baranowskis got a little slow there. And, yep, she has an issue in the Aaron's Dream Machine. Well, just like Xfinity, two cars had an issue. Now, Baranowskis have an issue in the Aaron's Dream Machine. So, she... It's going to make that indication right now coming down pit road, and that's already not going to look good for the 99 car there. This track, very unique altogether. This is a very slow right-hander as they're going to come on down pit road. And here we go, 17 laps. Remember, the yellows are going to be off for this event. Should be interesting what's going to be happening all together. As green flag is out, we're underway at Sebring. Let's roll. Of course, the Visit Florida 400. Visit Florida 400 there. I can't even speak the words. That's a tongue twister there. As Nathan Hudson, great start by the Brit. And the Nintendo Switch Mario Kart peak antifreeze dodge there for Flickinger Racing. He'll clear Deaver. He's got the lead. And speaking of international drivers, here comes Samet Oskin there. Looking for second on Cole Deaver. This is going to be a trouble spot altogether. This is a huge breaking zone right here. Keep an eye. Troubles early for R.J. Bishop and Levi McIntyre as well as Aaron Douglas. Three drivers with issues and R.J. Bishop is running ninth in the points. This will be a big blow to him. Deaver, though, hanging on to second. Flickinger trying to get third from Sam and Oskin there, and they're going to be battling like crazy up here. Battle for position. It's Dylan Potsy, Zach Rogers. Now they know that RJ Bishop's got an issue. This is big for both of these drivers all together. Amber Ross, battle for wildcard position. Jeffrey Finguy. There's Jesse Turner in the 78. This is a, a run that he needs right now. 
I just quickly double check in the rear if anyone else has had any issues so far. Those three. Cody Lamas in the rear of the pack. He must have spun out earlier. Not as crazy as Xfinity, but... Oh, boy. They're three wide right over here as Nathan Hudson led the first lap. Qualls, a little bit of front-end damage on that Hunt Brothers Pizza Chevrolet. Fitzwater the same with him as well. Wow, they're still three wide. And now they're going to settle back out. Kyle Matthews giving a bump to his own teammate right there. Wow. No idea why, but he is. Zach Rogers all over the back bumper of that state water heater Chevrolet there. And Deaver just got punted by Zach Flickinger looking for second. This is big if you're Nathan Hudson. This is what you want to see right here. And look at Oskin. Oh, man, I thought he was going to dump Flickinger right there. Flickinger looking for second. This is going to be the right-hander's uh, advantage right here. This is where Deaver's going to have a small advantage with these left-handers of the S-turns here. Now this is where the cars are going to like to swerve. Hand over the right-handers here. This right-hander should be where Flickinger's going to get that good run coming off the corner. Not enough, though. Deaver got just enough of a run. And look at Oskin giving the draft of the nine there. And this is allowing Nathan Hudson to run away. He's enjoying what he's seeing. And now Dylan Pozzi has joined in on the battle. Nathan Navarro, you see behind, is trying to battle Jesse Turner for position. And now Pozzi battling Sam and Oskin there. Still side-by-side side for Flickinger and Deaver. Keith Batson involved with an issue. Diego Yepes. Last season's winner, Alex Drayton, also involved in a wreck. Ramian Fisher. JT Bryant. Trent Dunham. Alex Ferranti with front-end damage at 84. Phil Parker trying to work on the previous race winner. Kev Shearer scored a big win at Talladega. And Flickinger trying to clear that Napa Chevrolet finally will do so. And if Flickinger won, and Deaver did not want to give up on that fight. Now Deaver doing a crossover. Oh, and Rogers and Ross go around. Oh, look out. Oh, Phil Parker got involved. Cars are scattering there. Seth Cole just went around in the 0-7. That spot is always troublesome. And you can see why. Seth Cole having a nightmare season. It's going to continue here at Sebring. Nice move by Sky Comments. Moving John Art out of the way, but just didn't get a run. Oh, car around. That's Kyle Matthews in the 9 It looked like he hit the wall, but didn't get a lot of damage off it. Brett Pritchard and Allison Rain there. Got a little bit of contact there. Keep it together. This is definitely going to help Roush for sure with this really good run. Your winner at Charlotte earlier this season. Yepes on down pit road. Ross out of the race. Zach Rogers, his car is already on pit road, and that's going to be end for the Monster Ultra Paradise Dodge. Yep, is going to come back out on the course. Right in front of the top three. They're going to get by. It's Sam and Oskin there. Just trying to find a way to get around that Nas Mercedes there. Tell you what, ever since Flickinger took that second position from Deaver, looks like that nine car didn't want to give up there. Meanwhile, Poti trying to battle Oskin for the fourth position. Can't seem to do it. 
Tuck back in line. Now all over the back bumper of that Ford. Oh, and just about wrecked him right there. And Navarro, who won this race two seasons ago. Former winner at this course. She's navigating her way through the course pretty good there in that Old Spice Toyota there. It's all the Nathan Hudson show right now. He has enjoyed that lead. Take a look at some of the other drivers in the battle positions here. There's Brian James. That's one of those drivers trying to battle for a wild card slot. Trying to find who's going to take the advantage over the Sky Commons and Connor Meyer battle. And right behind Brian James. Good to see him up in a decent position. Zachary Fitzwater top just outside the top 15. Oh, look at Brian. What a move. He just dove the car underneath in a good passing zone right there. Oh, Commons made that turn wide right there, and he's going to get that spot right there. Now, trying to work on Connor Meyer in the 51. I would just tuck back in line right now and wait. Now, Ellison trying to work on Zachary Fitzwater in the 7. Ellison's been having a little bit of an up and down year. Some races he's done pretty good. Some races not so much. Now trying to work on the Menard Chevrolet. He's got a buckle in the hood there. And the Stouffer Chevrolet going to get around the Menard Chevrolet. Now they announced with uh, Evans Gardner Motorsports. A bit of driver changes coming around. Number changes. Zachary Fitzwater won't be in the 7 after this season. That will be Allison Rain. Rain and 6-6 move over to the 7. Fitzwater will move over to the 5. As far as with these drivers there, and Kev Shear in the 68 will be part of the Xfinity team next season. And Quentin Moore out. In the 89. Oh, there goes Bill Parker. Zach Flickinger in the leaders. Oh, it's a mess. Look out. Hudson's going to hold on with the lead. But Zach Flickinger just got dumped thanks to Phil Parker in the 15. Wow, I have no idea what that was about, but what poor judgment altogether. And Zach Flickinger, he has got to be PO'd, and I don't blame. I don't know how the leaders held on there, but Yepes is holding up Sam and Oskin, who took the lead. How about the Swede? The Swede, the Brit, and the few Americans right now in the top five. Dylan Pote, Jesse Turner, Cole Deaver. Man, Yepes is just holding up Oskin. This is where you got to do when when you got a lap car in front. You just got to be really patient. Qualls back out in the course right now, 29th. Trying to catch up to Benjamin Miles there. And Alex Ferranti and Alex Drayton. No front ends on their car. There's Phil Parker. Man, I have no idea what he was doing there. That was just poor. Kyle Matthews coming back down pit road in the 09. Seth Cole with a lot of right side damage in that 07. There's Cody Lamas, Trent Dunham. Clint Spillman not too far ahead. Allison Rain trying to think about making a pass on her teammate there. But literally just shoving the Menard Chevrolet. Made a huge mistake, and now Osborne going to make a pass right there. That's where you just got to make your move. You don't want to stick behind to that bumper. Jessica Shelton on the cross on John Art trying to make the pass right there. Can't seem to make it work yet. Oh, Sheldon just lost some grip a little bit right there and trying to get the battle. Can't seem to do it. I thought I saw some contact there, but no. Hudson under fire from Dylan Pote. Cole Deaver, Jesse Turner. Look at them all in the mix here. Whoa, look at this. Two by two coming off the corner. Wow. Look at Jesse. He's trying to make it three wide down the middle. Look at Turner! What an aggressive move by the Haas Mercedes. Really stuck his nose down the middle. He's going to try to make this work. Look at this! Oh my goodness, please tell me he's going to make this work. Oh my goodness, and he is! 
Still got a corner of Dylan Posting on the left rear. While Oskin's trying to run away. Oh my god, how are they holding on here? I do not believe it. Clears Nathan Hudson. Turner. Can he complete the pass on Dylan Pote? I don't believe how they made that work. I have no idea how Turner, out of all people, made that work. He's trying to complete that pass on Dylan Pote in the 31. This is where that right-hander's corner is going to come into favor of the Haas Mercedes. And he will get it off this corner. I, can, I cannot see why not. As Oskins trying to work on Yepes. Turner trying to clear for second. Big guy lose control of the car. Posey's just not giving up in that 31. Give him some credit. That's a veteran right there of NRSL and all. And he is just showing no mercy to Turner. He's saying, you want second, you got to earn it. That's a strong state water heater Chevrolet, folks. Oh, and Oskin about dumped up as Oskin finally clears the lap car. Man, Pozzi is just giving Turner a challenge. I don't think he was too happy with the move the 78 made as he went in the grass a little bit. Man, that, that 78 is just trying to clear the 31. Just can't seem to do it. Still side by side. Unbelievable battle there. I can't believe Turner made that work last lap. That's unbelievable. And we should expect to have some pit stops coming along very soon, folks. As we're on lap 7 of 17. But Turner's going to come down pit road. What an intense battle. Oh, Pozzi missed pit road. He was trying to come down and he, he missed it. Oskin will lead the field down. About everyone's coming on down though. Pozzi will lead a lap. Everyone's coming down. Not even one person with the exception of that 31 car. He's going to come on down. We'll take a look at his car to see if he had any damage from that in a second. But, oh my. Oh, he got a little bit of right side damage. You can see it caved in a little bit there. It's not caved in heavily, but you can see the difference. Right there. So they'll have to repair part of that state water here to Chevrolet. Try to buff it out. Oskin. Lead him off after the cycle of pit stops. Slow stop for Nathan Hudson. Out and away. Flickinger, they're going to get some repair work on that 96 car there, you see. He's going to be quite a ways back. You see, working on that left side there. So eyes will be on Poti and Sam and Oskin. Turner the second one out. Cole Deaver. Show why he's been the dominant car in the regular season. He has been absolutely superb. And now is a bumper full of teammate Quentin Moore. How about Scott Roush in the 60? Never really uh, have seen him uh, do well of, of road course before with the exception of Dubai. And here he is at Sebring. Doing a fantastic job there. Jessica Shell not too far behind. John Art, Angel Navarro, Brian James, James Ellison. There's Hudson. Slow pit stop for that eight team. Got to be kicking himself after that one there. And now to, and now uh, Dylan Pote coming down pit road there. So I guarantee you they're going to have to buff out that Chevrolet there. Meanwhile, Oskin navigating the S's. I, I'll tell you, with the, with the 31 making that indication coming down pit road missing, he had to get back on the gas. He definitely is going to lose the lead. I don't see how he's not going to. Made a big, crucial mistake right there. However, the good news is he's got one of the, the first stalls there. And there's Oskin coming off that final turn. You just see there. I know it's kind of a bad angle, but you can see that 63 right there coming to the start-finish line. There's the 31. And new leader, Sam and Oskin. And Poteet's going to lose a lot of ground. Tough break for the state water heater Chevrolet. However, the good news that he has is if these drivers come down pit road, he can hold an advantage. So he's got a lap uh, fresher tires. 
than everyone else, so he can hunt down Brian James and all the others if he could. So when we come to the line, we'll see how far the distance between Sam and Oskin and Jesse Turner will be. But it is Ford versus Mercedes versus the power-hungry Chevy duo of the Evans Garter group of Deaver and Moore. And then you have another Ford behind. Highest running Toyota would be John Art in the 0 5. And there's Nathan Hudson in the 8, the highest running Dodge. Previously mentioned Sky Commons. There he is, not too far away from the top 20. And we already documented about Zach Rogers. How about Trent Dunham in the 1? Him and Joshua Osborne have been avoiding a lot of the chaos for starting in the rear of the field. And Dunham was like a little bit of ways back trying to get woed up from a wreck. That's how the top 20 looks like right there. Good job by that Sega Chevrolet there. Same with Osborne, Cody Lamas, Kyle Matthews. There's Miles quite a ways back. Oh, I heard a spin. Oh, it's Potsy in the 31, Nathan Hudson. Well, there goes all the strategy I could think of there, and Potsy just used some of those tires. I have a feeling Potsy may have gotten into that eight car there. Both drivers probably not happy with the situations they've been in. Potsy missing pit road and Hudson uh, having a slow stop. So 2.34 is the distance between Sam and Oskin and Jesse Turner. As now the top five have gotten away from Diego Yepes. Meanwhile, Jessica Shelton. And that 0-2 will have to be the next car. Try to have to worry about Yepes. There'll be a little bit of time, but... Oskin, though, just absolutely putting qualifying laps out there. Out on the field. On board Jesse Turner 78 there. And this is a tricky course as you can see. Even though there's not really any elevation changes. There's still a lot of sharp turns that you can see. All these drivers have to do. A lot of slick corners too. See so your mix of. Long straightaways, S-turns, sharp turns. See here, you can just stay on the gas. You can, you know, really arc your car. And try to hunt down whoever's up ahead. Man, yeah, Turner had a good uh, run on that corner compared to Oskin there. But this straightaway seat speed there, you can see Turner's trying to really get on the gas. But once you get up to that final turn up of here, you really got to slow down. You can see Turner got to about 180. And Turner's about 70 miles an hour heading into that corner. That's the lowest of the speed he got to. He's back on the gas and trying to hunt down there. Let's see if he uh, gained any ground right there. No, lost a few lost a few seconds there. Quentin Moore. Steamer came down pit road in the nine. And Moore got around Roush for third. Car number nine down, pit road. He's thinking he's not going to make it on gas, so he's going to take an early gamble and short pit. Also down pit road, Trent Dunham, Kyle Matthews. They're going to try the same thing as well. Remember, all those guys came down at the same time, so... See if there's anyone that's on the course that's uh, having any issues we don't know about and for the most part everything is about the same as expected so yep as has a fuel system damage actually there well Baranowskis oh she had engine damage interesting so yep as known to why he's off the pace fuel system is just messed up there Poteen and Hudson balling again there I'm telling you these guys have been at each other's throats in this race both were running in the top 10 earlier. And now outside, the, just inside the top 20, thanks to that 9 car coming down pit road. And man, Dylan Throw there got a little wide off the corner. How about Fitzwater? Having a good day so far. A little buckle on that Menard Chevrolet, but 
Keeping the car one piece. Got a little bit of rearing damage as well. One ran to the back of him there. Battle for 13th. Meyer and Spillman. Meyer trying to get the spot. Spillman trying to hang on. Whoa. This guy Commons and Dylan Thoreau hanging on for dear life there. It's Brian James now trying to battle. Angel Navarro just inside the top 10. And got James Ellison all over in front of the 94. James will make the pass. John Art coming down pit road. Jesse Turner going to surrender second. These guys are short pitting. Oscar, no surprise, is going to stay out and risk it. Shelton is about caught. Diego Yepes in the 59. So what's got to be in the mind of the AutoZone Ford from Devin Becker Incorporated? This is where Shelton's going to get all that speed there, trying to hunt down that Nos Mercedes, but the problem is that she doesn't have enough of a run to try to make a pass yet. And we said, too, like, it's going to take a little bit to get up to that rear bumper, that 59, because you can see the 0-2's got really good straightaway speed, but when it comes to the turns, Yepes is at least holding his ground there, so at some point in time, that Nos Mercedes is going to have to move out of the way, and I hope the Conochan Chevrolet, they do the right thing and just not try to be super aggressive trying to pass that 59 and try to shove him out of the way and Endanger yourself as well. Alex Ryan's coming down pit road in that 84. Matthews already mentioned coming down pit road. However, extended stay for the 09. He's got tire damage in the 09. And that's a tough blow for wild card holder number one. Issues. It's like Nathan Hudson, I think, went down pit road. Turner got ahead of Cole Deaver. Let's see if any others come down pit road. And Sam and Oskin, the leader, comes down. Moore and Roush coming down. Yepes going to stay out, get out of the way. Shelton down. Ellison, who's going to stay out, is the better question. Kev Shear going to stay out. Last season's winner, or, or I'm sorry, last race winner, Nathan Hudson also staying out. Cody Lamas. Those are the three that are going to stay out and try to pull a strategy. And eyes will be on this man right here. Matthew's finally back on the course. He's one lap down. Now they're getting the right sides on that auto zone four. Just keeping an eye on that 63. Moore out and away. Excellent stop by Quit Moore in the 89. And easily will beat out Turner and Deaver. Turner man should beat out Brian James in the 94, but couldn't beat out Roush, Oskin, Shelton, nor Quinn Moore in the 89. So now, Kev Shear in the 68. The eyes will be on him, Hudson, and Lamas. I have a feeling once they come down pit road, they're going to lose that lead. Sam and Oskin just a little slow on pit road there and went for the extra service there. The Sheets Chevrolet trying to go two in a row. For Evans Gardner. Keep in mind, Shearer and Moore, the only two drivers from Evans Gardner to win this season. Kev's going to stay out, actually. Hudson will stay out as well. Lamas coming down. Lamas will surrender the third position. I guarantee you on Moore's radio, they are saying the 68 and the 8 have stayed out. It's going to be a bit of a shock. Oskin trying to make a move on Shell and get a little bump from Scott Rouch trying to take that position away, but 63 gets a whale of a run right there. 
Turner is actually trying to catch Scott Roush in the 60. So all the rest of the drivers up there as he's ran away from Brian James. What is going to be on the mindset of the 68 and the 8? We will find out, and I guarantee you, they're just trying to hold on as much gas as possible, trying not to kill their tires. So we're going to take a very, very quick break. Don't go away. You're not going to miss any action there. Kev Shearer remains out in front. Welcome back. You have not missed much there as Kev Shearer and Nathan Hudson, as they come to line, it will be three laps to go. We will see if they come down pit road this time by, or they're going to stay out a little more. But you got to wonder. Quinn Moore, a Shelton, trying to hang on for dear life on Sam and Osgan, the 63, is trying to make a pass on her right now. As Turner is getting closer to Roush, actually, keep in mind. Whoa, is Osgan about to turn Shelton? Yep, there they go. Coming down pit road this time by Hudson and Shearer. They are not going to make it on gas, and this is where Quentin Moore, he's going to say thanks for playing. Troubles for Sky Commons in the 17. No idea who possibly would have gotten into the uh, 17 there, but out of the race, he was running in the 19th position. Possibly Dylan Thoreau in the four may have gotten into him. Got a lot of front damage you see back there. Spillman and Ellison are bound. There's Kev. As Fitzwater's going to get around the Sheets Chevrolet. Spillman the John Deere Chevrolet trying to get around Ellison the Stouffer Chevrolet. Oh, Osgin gives a bump to Shelton, trying to move her out of the way. Osgin trying to get second. Better make their moves quick. Can't seem to do it. Oh, Osgin made a huge mistake. Here comes Roush now. Jesse's about caught these three right here. That Haas Mercedes. I don't know what they put in that car, but that is flying. Navarro, all over the back bumper, the points leader. Cole Deaver, he better be really careful here. Avoid letting the 42 wreck you. Or try to hold on for dear life on the position. Now, the Xfinity race, we saw these drivers hitting this area here. Cup race so far, no one has hit that area. Well, except for one, you can see where the skin marks are. But Quentin Moore, when we come to the line, will be two laps to go. Yepes leaving pit road right now. Kyle Matthews getting around the 59. So Quentin Moore may not be out of the seat yet of winning this race. Two to go. He may have to deal with Yepes in the 59. I just realized Com is absolutely destroyed right there in that 17. Two point eight two second lead between Moore and Shelton. Turner is about caught Roush. Oskin is trying to do whatever he can to get around Shelton, just can't seem to do it. You know Shelton's got a good car, but it's been playing a lot of defense, not a lot of offense this entire race. Oskin, he is getting very impatient, and this may help out Scott Roush. Wow, literally shoving. And Oskin makes a huge mistake. Here comes Roush for third. Here comes Turner now. Literally shoving Roush up there. Now Shelton trying to run away from these three. Turner's got a very hungry Haas Mercedes. I don't know if he's going to have enough time, but this is really helping Quinton Moore a lot more. But now Shelton's in clean air. I don't know if she's going to do what she can to hunt down that 89 car, but if you notice, she's been losing ground. Moore may approach Diego. Yep, as you can see in the distance, that 89 car is hunting down that Nos Mercedes. Shelton, though, just trying to hope she can hang on to second. 
or at least hope the 59 can hold up the 89 long enough. Turn all over the back bumper. Scott Roush, you have to give credit both these drivers. They needed these runs. Scott Roush, if he could stay in the top five, he will easily jump into the top ten in points. Brian James could probably open up a little bit of a slot there, trying to get in that second wild card slot there. But white flag will be displayed for Quinn Moore. One lap to go. On the visit Florida 400 there, Quinn Moore extending his lead now to three seconds. Oskin back on the bumper. Jessica Shelton in that 63 car. Oskin all over the back bumper. Man, he has just been all over the rear of that Conachan TV Chevrolet. Just can't seem to make the move work. I think it's safe to say Oskin has the better car, but man, just Shelton has been playing absolutely defensive driving. She knows she may not be able to get the win, but she wants to hold on for a second. Got to remember these drivers that are second and fourth in the running order right now. They are trying to battle for that wall card slot. Same for sixth place. Dave Rundali will extend his points lead no matter what. Another terrific run in that Napa Auto Park Chevrolet. Driving like Chase Elliott if he ever would be. Navarro looking like good for a top 10 run. John Art ninth, and Clint Spillman trying to hang on for 10th over Zachary Fitzwater. Great run for Fitzwater altogether, but... Meanwhile, though, as Yepes actually caught Brett Pritchard. Whoa, they actually made some contact there. Yep, is getting around the 54. I don't think it was enough time anyway, though. Quentin Moore having a Cinderella year in the 89 team. He'll be leaving Evans Gardner next season to be with Johanna Howard Motorsports. Coming off the final turn. Quinn Moore's going to do it. Checker flag. Moore wins his second race of the year at Sebring. And he's won two Florida races so far this season. And what a way to do it. He'll win at the road course. Quinn Moore gets the job done. Oskin just got around shown for second. In the nick of time. Roush will hold on to fourth over Jesse Turner. James will get 6th, Deaver 7th, Navarro 8th, Art ninth, and Spillman completing the top 10. Well, I guarantee you, some drivers there are going to get really big points. Zach Flickinger, you have to feel for him. He had a good chance to win, but got involved in that wreck with all the leaders. Even Nathan Hudson, too. But Quentin Moore, big win for the 89 team. Let's go look at some of the incidents all together. So here's a look at some of the incidents that took play here. Audrey Baranowski is in the 46 early on. Just had a gearbox issue go away. See, so RJ got clipped by Diego Yepes, his own teammate. And you're going to see behind there, Trent Dunham actually got into Aaron Douglas. Dunham kept his car together. Douglas, not so much. And he also went into the tire wall right there. So both of those drivers had a very early exit on lap one. A little bit up ahead on lap one. I have to say this has to be one of the most stranger incidents ever. McIntyre actually gets turned by JT Bryant in the 22. And McIntyre just trying to get in the brakes, do something. There's a tire wall right there. And oh man, it just nailed it. That car went up and over and actually launched right in front of Trent Dunham, who barely avoids that one. Thank goodness this was over in the rear in the field, not towards the front. Otherwise, that could have been really bad there. I'll tell you, JT Bryant been trying to kill the Fords today. And remember, the 22 used to be in a Ford, now in a Toyota. See, Batson was trying to battle Brett Pritchard for position. And then JT Bryant just get a little bit of an extra run there. Gets the Nathan's Hot Dogs a little loose. And then 22 is trying to get off the 39. And both go hard in the guardrail there. And that's what happens to Batson and Bryant, primarily Batson. And then we've gotten word Ramian Fisher a little later on. He also gets involved in an accident somehow. Uh 
Oh. Yeah, it was this incident. Let's see, Diego Yepes. See what happened to him here, because I remember seeing it and then this car broke. Watch carefully. He's trying to get in the third gear and third gear wasn't working. And then right as that happened, Fisher just plows him. Dylan Thoreau gets a little bit of damage. Trent Dunham, Alex Drayton. Nasty lick right there. Well, this was what happened to Zach Rogers in the six. We did see it earlier, but just kind of want to take a look again here. Ross just got a whale of a run right there coming off this corner. And this is always a trouble spot right here. And Ross just got that Monster Energy Ultra Paradise Dodge. And good wolf in time and just absolutely clobbers the tire wall. Ember Ross doing the same for her as well. There you see everyone just trying to scatter to avoid. And the worst part is Ember Ross is out in the course. Phil Parker. That's where he's going to get involved, and then it just gets worse from there. Parker going around. Cars are just trying not to hit any of these drivers that are basically either disabled or just in the way. And then Ross, to make things worse, she's trying to get back on the course. Seth Cole loses control of his car, and then he gets hit on the, on the passenger side by Alex Ferranti in the 84. Miles somehow made it through that one. Same for Dylan Thoreau. Very close call right there. That was a chaotic turn of events right there. So we were trying to figure out what happened to Allison Rain. Now we figured out exactly what happened. Watch this. Try to come down pit road. Whammo. Tough break for Rain. Before we show the final incident, we have to showcase the move Jesse Turner made here at Seabury because this... I still can't believe he made this work. Take a look on his onboard cam of the Haas Mercedes and take a look what happened all around him. About clips Nathan Hudson here. Hoti takes a slip. And we'll talk about finding a gap. That is absolutely unbelievable. I've never seen anyone pull that off before and actually make it work. Look, he's using the middle work here. Look on the rear chase cam here. He's trying to clear Poti. Barely, 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 barely. Not clear. Still three wide. He's trying to clear Nathan Hudson first in the eight car. He's just trying to hope no one clips him because he probably made one of the most aggressive moves work. Clears Hudson. He was on a left-hander part right now. And then this is where you're going to see that on the roof cam here. Alposi was really not one to give it up. And then Turner, this is where he gets his really good run right over here. And he's going to be on the right-hander's portion of the course. And this is where he's going to get all that advantage, especially the straightaways here. That had to be one of the most insane moves I've seen work by Jesse. So remember, him and Posey were battling for at least a couple laps. And got to give credit where it's due, though. That was probably one of the most amazing things I've seen on a road course. Hands down. And give credit to Posey. He was actually battling on that high line as much as he could. He basically told Jesse, you want that spot. You better give everything you got. See up ahead, that was Yepes in the, uh, in the grass a little bit. As Ozzy was just trying to get around him. Just want to showcase that whole entire portion there for the heck of it. Well, Commons was one of those drivers that was trying to rely on strategy there, being an early pitter there. And unfortunately, Dylan Throw basically kind of killed that motive right there. And you see the Spirit Daytona team there just clipping the Sin City Racing Dodge 17 car there. And Commons just goes around hard into the tire barrier. And man, that was... Pretty crazy. That was all the major incidents. We do want to check out the one incident that happened right in front of the field, though. We'll take a look where we can find that real quick and go from there. Well, I thought there was looking back, but um, I guess there was. I must be seeing things and all that. But anyways, here's a look at your full finishing results, as you can see here. 31 cars finished the race all together. 32nd on down. 
all out of the race. What a race this was all together. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, be sure to give it a like, comment, your thoughts, subscribe, part of the Intercell channel, subscribe button down below. You've been watching production of the Intercell where racing is living. Congrats to Quentin Moore one last time on winning the Visit Florida 400 here at Sebring. We will be back at Daytona next week for Daytona Under the Lights. Until then, this is your boy DeYoung signing off. See you guys later. Here come the points and video like always.